All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So after I did my video on John Cena and whether or not I thought he would have had pro bodybuilding potential, a lot of people requested that I make the same video about Batista and kind of evaluate his potential as a bodybuilder had he went the bodybuilding route instead of the pro wrestling route. So it's kind of hard to find legitimate statistics about wrestlers because the WWE likes to kind of hype up their height, hype up their weight. So I found a website that gives some of Batista's stats, and it's not a WWE site, so hopefully these are uh, pretty realistic stats. Um, so his height was six foot six, his body weight 287 pounds, his chest measurement was 55 inches, and his bicep measurement was 20 inches. Um, so 20 inches actually sounds pretty realistic based on looking at the size of his arms. They actually really didn't look that big. Um, his upper body just looks so massive because of the size of his traps and his pecs and his delts. Overall, his arms actually didn't really look that big. So here's a photo of Batista from when he bulked up. Um, so his build weight was often over 300 pounds. I think in this photo, he probably was over 300 pounds. He looks like a pretty big motherfucker in this picture. So I've got to give Batista credit where credit's due. I think he had some of the best legs of any wrestler ever. I mean, look at this guy's quads, man. He had some pretty big quads. And if you look at a lot of the wrestlers today, you really can't see any definition at all or any size, any muscularity really in their legs. Um, but Batista definitely had some very good quads. So we got to give him props for having good quads. So that's definitely a good trait for bodybuilding. Overall, though, I think Batista's physique probably was better off for wrestling than, than it would have been for bodybuilding. So here's a picture of Batista's front double bicep pose, um, which is a very rare pose for him. You don't see a lot of these poses from Batista. You mostly see, you know, the crazy most muscular pose or the most muscular where he's coming out to the fireworks and doing the little gun, the machine gun thing. So here's his, his front double bicep. As you can see, there's not much symmetry there. One bicep is clearly larger than the other. Um, so that's definitely a big issue if he wanted to become a bodybuilder. So in this photo here, it looks like he's slimmed down a bit. Uh, again, you can see the legs are looking pretty good. He's got a lot of definition in his legs. You can almost see some cross striations in the teardrop of his quad in this photo. So again, I got to give him credit for having good legs. That would definitely have been a plus in bodybuilding. But I think overall, um, his proportions weren't that good. Like I said, I think his arms were definitely a weak point compared to the size of his chest and traps. I think that would have really thrown off his proportions and really thrown off his balance in a bodybuilding show. Here's another good photo of him. You can kind of see the definition in his legs. Again, you can just see that sheer size of his traps and his pecs um, really overwhelming the size of his arms. It's probably why he wore those elbow sleeves that really covered half of his bicep uh, most of his career. But like I said, he was better built for that most muscular pose, which is probably just better off for bodybuilding or better off for wrestling than it was for bodybuilding. Because he, the, the crazy thing about Batista is he had this super muscular, super crazy ripped physique that looked really impressive for wrestling. It looked really good when he's, you know, throwing guys around, hitting most musculars on stage, coming out to his entrance music. But being big and muscular isn't all it takes to be a bodybuilder. So overall, I think as a bodybuilder, Batista would not have been that successful. I think he was definitely better off going the route of pro wrestling. He had a crazy physique. There's no doubt about that. But I think it definitely was a physique that was better suited for wrestling in terms of overall um, the proportions of the muscle. The muscles were big. They were huge. His traps were absolutely insane. Like you can see in this picture here, look at his traps, man. But definitely you could see the imbalances in his biceps. Here's a more recent photo of him where he's definitely slimmed down a lot. Um, so you can really see the muscle imbalances in this photo here. And you can really see why uh, bodybuilding would not have been a good choice for him. He really didn't have that great um, of a physique in terms of proportions and symmetry and overall balance. But he was a big, freaky, muscular, mass monster type of guy that was really well suited for the wrestling ring. So let me know if you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see a, a few more WWE videos kind of sprinkled uh, throughout my channel. People really seem to enjoy that subject. So I'm going to continue to make some here and there if people continue to thumbs up the videos and seem to enjoy them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.